On the History Channel series Pawn Stars, the experts at the world-famous Gold and Silver Pawn Shop in Las Vegas meet regular folks with unusual objects to sell, sometimes worthless, but often surprisingly valuable. Here are some of the biggest payouts in Pawn Stars history. Dutch East India Trading Company Bell The woman who brought this 17th century ship's bell into the shop was actually considering putting it out on a yard sale. Richard Old Man Harrison thought the bell had to be a reproduction. But the expert they brought in confirmed that it was indeed a shipwreck bell from 1602 and was worth a small fortune. $15,000, give or take. 1715 Spanish Fleet Gold Coin In 1715, a Spanish fleet carrying millions of pesos worth of gold sank to the bottom of the ocean off the coast of Florida. Lucky customer Jody inherited an exceptional gold coin from the shipwreck. At first, Rick Harrison thought the coin was in too good of a condition to be genuine, but the expert confirmed that it was authentic and was worth a cool $18,000. From everything I can see on this one, I'd say it's absolutely genuine. Joe Green's Olympic medals. Olympian jumpin' Joe Green came across hard times in the late 90s, so he sold the Harrisons his Olympic bronze medals from the 1992 and 1996 games. Rick reportedly assured him that despite their $30,000 value, he would never sell the medals. But in this world, everything has a price. I'm asking $20,000 for the Atlanta one. 10000 for the Barcelona. Order of the White Eagle Medallion. A very lucky yard sale fanatic picked up this medal for only 75 cents and sold it to Rick for a cool $6,000. It turned out the medal dated back to the era of Tsarist occupation of Poland, and Rick eventually resold the medal for 30 grand. Book of Mormon. Adam got more than he bargained for when expert Rebecca Romney appraised his fifth edition copy of the Book of Mormon from 1842. I would appraise this book actually at about $40,000. Rick and Adam finally settled on a purchase price of $24,000 and both walked away happy with the transaction. 1554 Spanish Shipwreck Gold Bar When one man was cleaning out the belongings of his grandfather, he found a gold bar hidden away in a box. Its meltdown value alone was $24,000, but when an expert confirmed it was from a 1554 Spanish shipwreck, the price doubled instantly. So you're telling me that's worth $48,000 in that neighborhood? Yeah. <laughs> 2001 Patriots Super Bowl ring. Patriots defensive back Brock Williams had a hard patch and he decided to pawn his 2001 Patriots Super Bowl ring for a modest $2,600. He never came back for it and the ring became the property of the shop. While similar rings have sold for around $30,000 on auction websites, Rick isn't ready to let go of his favorite item anytime soon, which is why he set the sale price on this beauty to a whopping $100,000. John F. Kennedy's Cigar Box. The biggest payout ever on Pawn Stars is thanks to a piece of presidential history. A seller walked into the shop with a box of cigars that once sat on John F. Kennedy's desk in the Oval Office. After some haggling, Rick managed to purchase JFK's cigar box for $60,000. For comparison, a similar JFK humidor was purchased by the publisher of Cigar Aficionado in 1996 for $575,000. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw, and leave us a comment to let us know what you think of these Pawn Star deals.